today um, we are going to be discussing five teen realistic fiction novels. Alright, so these you can find in the regular old fiction section in the teen area, and I hope you enjoy today's five selections. The first book we're going to take a look at is called Fear of Missing Out by Kate McGovern. 16-year-old Astrid is terminally ill. Her brain tumor is inoperable, and while her friends and family have good intentions when they encourage her to fight it with new treatments, Astrid is intrigued by the idea of cryopreservation, so that someday she may wake up in a future where her disease can be cured. For other books featuring cryopreservation, check out Noggin by John Corey Whaley, and Stronger, Faster, and More Beautiful by Arwen Dayton. Next up is Verona Comics by Jennifer Dugan. After a meet-cute at a con prom, Jubilee, a 16-year-old cellist, and Ridley, an anxiety-ridden, depressed teen with low self-esteem, find themselves drawn to each other. Unfortunately, their parents own rival comic book shops, and Ridley's cold, emotionally abusive father is trying to put Jubilee's stepmother's indie shop out of business. This tale is loosely inspired by Romeo and Juliet. Give this book a try if you love sweet romantic comedies. Next up, we have Felix Ever After by Cason Callender. Felix Love is a black, queer trans man who has never been in love. During an intensive summer arts course to earn him the possibility of a full-ride scholarship to Brown University, he is savagely outed by an anon anonymous bully who posts his pre-transition pictures in the school's hallway. Driven to root out the bully, Felix pursues a likely suspect only to find himself questioning his own identity and choices. Check out Felix Ever After if you enjoy books about self-discovery. Next up is We Didn't Ask For This by Adi Al Said. The privileged students at Central Intelligence School look forward to the annual lock-in every year. But things this year take a dramatic turn when eco-activist Marissa and her friends take control of the school and hold students and teachers hostage until her list of 30 ecological demands are met. As the hostage situation escalates, students become angry with Marissa and her scheme. Fellow students Kenji, America, <laughs> excuse me, Kenji, America, Amira and PJ step in to help protect her. Told in alternating viewpoints, Al Said takes readers on an emotional journey of gray areas and examines the blurred lines sometimes between right and wrong. You will enjoy this story if you like books about social themes and politics. The last book on our list is Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. Ever Wong is heading to med school in the fall so she's not excited to find out that her parents have enrolled her in a summer camp in Taipei to learn about her cultural heritage. Ever heads off to China expecting to be bored by immersive language courses, but instead finds her very first taste of freedom away from home. The summer camp, as it turns out, is dubbed Love Boat, as it is notorious for romance, nightlife, and matchmaking. Once on her own, she begins to question her life choices, including her major. Choose this book if you enjoy stories about parental expectations, identity, self-discovery, and romance. I hope you enjoyed this week's um, five YA choices that you may have missed this year due to the library not being opened for most of 2020. Um, come in and check them out. We are open now. I hope you enjoy them and come see us in the library.